Hi guys, great to see you all again. I've been putting off learning this song properly for years. I finally kicked myself in the butt. Today we're going to be looking at As I Am by Dream Theatre. This is a terrifying solo, so if you're scared, turn back now, watch a cute cat video. Anyway, let's take a look. We need to tune down to this little C, as uh, Swiss guy would say, which is C, F, B flat, E flat, G, and another C. So get yourself a tune, and we'll get started. Alright guys, let's take a look at the first section. It kind of takes place around an A minor pentatonic, if we're in standard tuning, up the octave, so between 17 and 20. I want to start off with a big slide into 19 of the 4th string, and then I jump to 17 of the 3rd. And then I want to play 20 to 17 on the second string. So thus far, this is what we should have. At the end of that, let's slow that down. I'm doing a slight bend on 19 of the first. Then I want to bring it down and then play 17 of the first as well. So we're going. At the end of that, I'm going to hit 20 of the second string as a single note and then a bent note. So all together. Okay, then we work into this next phrase. Let's slow that down. I want to start by playing 17 of the first string and then 20, 17 on the second. Then I jump back down to the first string and I want to play a bend up and back from 20. All right, there's a little bit more to it, but I don't want to get too excited. Let's see what we've got thus far from the start. Okay, then we work into the next phrase. Now, one thing that screwed me up heaps practicing this was starting on a, a down pick. If we start on a back pick, all the pulses fall in the right place. So keep that in mind. We want to go 17, 19, 17 on the first string. Start on your back pick. At the end of that, I'm going to play 20, 17. Obviously, we're going to alternate pick this at shred speed. So we're going 17, 19, 17 on the first, 20, 17 on the second. And then we'll get to sort of a Zach Wildey style run here. I'm playing 20, 17 on the first and second string. Then I'm going to play 22, 17 on the first and 20, 17 on the second string. So back to back. Now I want to do the 21 again. So I play the uh, 20, 17 on the first and 20 to 17 on the second. And then the next one that I do, it's going to go 19, 17 on the first string and 20, 17 on the second string. So from when it gets a little bit Zach Wildey, let's go from the uh, the lead. And now remember, we want to start on the back pick. At the end of that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play uh, 1917 on the third, and then resolve that to uh, 19 of the fourth where we started. So from the little Zach Wildey bit, starting on the back pick. Let's try the whole section a little bit slower and then we'll do it again even slower from there with some tabs. Almost all with some tabs. section two. This is quite shred-tastic. We're going to be working with little three-fingered chromatic descents. It's pretty simple, but just play it stupidly quick. So I want to be playing 17, 16, 15 on the sixth string, 
and the fifth string. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to shuffle over. I'm going to play 19, 18, 17 on the fifth string. But I'm going to do the same formation on the fifth, fourth, third, the fourth again, and the fifth. So with that shape, what I'm doing there, fifth string, fourth string, third string, fourth string, fifth string. I'll do that slowly. All together from the start now. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I want to play 19, 18, 17 on the fourth, and then shuffle that over to 21, 20, 19 on the fourth. Then I'm going to do 21, 20, and then 19 on the third. And then I want to jump down to 22 of the second string and work back that little three string, three note chromatic. So we're going to go. And then we go. Hopefully that's all making sense. So after I've done the 22 on the second string, I jump back up to 21 of the third and then 21 of the fourth. So all together, this is what we should have. Let's put that with the start now. So that last chunk that I want to do now, there's four more little shreds here. I'm going to play 21, 20, 19 on the fourth and the third string. And then I want to play 22, 21, 20 on the second and first string. So all together now. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I want to play this little group of three notes. I'm going to do six of these. So I'm going to play 23, 22, 20. I apologize if you didn't have a 24 fret guitar. This has been a complete waste of time for you so far. Anyway, we're doing this group of three notes six times. 23, 22, and then 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Then I bring that back to 20. What I'm going to do here is play 20, 19, 17 on the first string and the second. And we're going to do that little group of six notes four times. Let's try putting all of that new chunk together. We're going to do six of the first bit and then four of that sort of little two stringed number there. Okay, then at the end of that, I want to play 20, 19, 17 the second time on the second string. And I'm going to do a little chromatic on uh, 19, 18, 17 on the third. And then at the end of that, I'm going to do a pull off from 19 to 17 to get a bit of bluesy sound and then jump to 19 of the four. And there is a little note that follows that, but we'll start the first section with that. So we're just gonna end it here for now, from that pull off. So let's go from the 23 part, and then we'll do the whole thing uh, all together. So from the 23, 22, 20, six times. Take it right back to the start of this section and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. Keep in mind that we've just come in from that, that pull off from the previous section. I want to start off with that delicious vibrato from 17 of the third string, and then I work into this phrase. So what I'm doing here is I'm sliding into 19 of the fifth string, and then I'm going to play 17, 19 on the fourth, and then I play 17, 19 on the third, and then do a bend on 21 of the third. So all together. Okay, a very similar idea up the octave now. I'm going to slide from 19 to 21 on the third. And then I'm going to play 20, 22 on the second string. And then 20, 22, and then a bend on 24 of the first string. Let's have a look from the bend, so the vibrato at the start, and then we'll put it all together. Hopefully that's all making sense. 
Then I want to play 24, 23, 20. Oh, sorry, 24, 23, 22, and then 20. At the end of that, I want to play 22 of the first string and then roll to 22 of the second string. So we go. So all together. And with that kind of thing, if you want to add a bit of vibrato, it's really hard to bend down. So you're probably going to have to do that little sort of doorknob turn there to get that. It's quite a difficult angle. Let's have a look what we've got thus far from the 17 uh, vibrato at the start. Let's have a look at this hilarious sweep now. This is essentially the same thing twice, uh, there's just a little bit more on the end. So I want to start from 19 of the fourth string, I'm going to play 19, then 17 of the third, and then 15 of the second. Then I reverse my steps. Then uh, after I've come back to the top, I'm going to go work my way back down to the 15. So this is what we should have so far. The second time I land on the 15, I'm going to hammer to 17. And then do a double tap on 20 of the second string. So this is what we should have now. After I finish my second uh, tap to the pull off, so that's tapping 20 and pulling off to the 17 twice. I pull off to the 15 and then land on the 17 of the third. And that's my first little group. And I, as I said before, we're going to essentially do the same thing twice. So right, let's try that together. And at the end of that, I just got a sus two or sort of stacked fifth shape. I'm playing 19 of the fourth, 17 of the fifth, and 15 of the sixth. Now, if you want to, while you're doing those taps, you can do a hammer on from nowhere with uh, just your middle and then sweep through, or in the other case, just start the sweep from that sus two shape. So let's try that whole sweepy thing and then we'll do the whole section thus far. All right, let's go from the 17 vibrato uh, into all that bluesy stuff and then the delicious sweep and then we'll do the whole thing even slower since it is. start from 14 of the 6th string, I'm going to play 14, 15, 17, and I'm going to sort of weave this shred in and out, I'm going to play 14, 15, 17 on the 5th, and then reverse that 15, 14, so we should have 5 notes there, and then I want to jump up to 17 of the 6th string. Then after that we're going to do some similar patterns, but I'm going to start off with 2 triplets at the start. So I'm going to play from the 5th string out, 14, 15, 17 twice. And then this sort of weavy in and out shred idea again, but I'm going to play 14, 16, 17, 16, 14 on the fourth string. And then jump up to 17 at the fifth string. So we've nearly got the same thing twice, there's just one triplet at the start of the first group. Alright, let's look at the third chunk now. I want to play 14, 16, 17 on the fourth string twice. And I'm going to do a group of five notes four and forward and back from the third string. 14, 16, 17, 16, 14. And then resolve that to 17 of the fourth. I think you guys are probably starting to see a pattern now. Then from the third string to the second, I'm going to play 14, 16, 17 twice. A little strange note here, we're going to go 14, 15, 17, 15, 14 on the second, and then resolve that, so that weird gross note on 17 of the third, so all together that new chunk. And then finally, from the second string to the first string, I'm going to play 14, 15, 17 on the second, and do two triplets there, and then I'm going to play 14, 15, 17 on the first, and then reverse that, so we're going to have another group of five. 
and then resolve that to 17 of the second. So before we move on, I want to join that all together at a gentlemanly pace and then we'll finish off the section. Hopefully that's making sense. Now to finish off the section, I want to play 14, 15, 17 on the first string, and then I'm going to pull that off from 17 to uh, 15, 14. So I go. And then what I do here is I'm going to sort of borrow a bit of the phrasing we had before. I'm going to go 15, 17, 19, 15, 17. So a group of five. Then resolve that to 19 of the second string. So I go. And then at the end of that, I'm going to play 15, 17, and then 19, which does a pull off to 15, 17. So really slowly. So if we look at the way that the last chunk ended uh, and then we move into that chunk, you'll see how similar the phrasing is. It's very similar. Okay, the next part I have two leading notes from 17 to 19 on the first string. And then I'm going to do this group of four notes three times. I'm going to play 20, uh, 22, 19, 17, back to 19. I'm going to do that group of four notes. I'm going to do three of those. I do exactly the same idea, but I'm going to have 23 as my starting note. So I'm going to go 23, 19, 17, 19, and we're going to have three groups of that four note pattern. And that's the idea back to back. So let's try the whole section relatively slowly, and then we'll do it again even slower to the tenors. I'm going to play 24, 19, 17, and then back to 19 on the first string. And I'm going to do those four notes six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a similar idea. I'm going to play 22 on the first string and go 19, 18, 19. But I only want to do five of these because there's a slight variation on the C. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, instead of going back to the 19, I'm going to play 22, 19, 18, and then end on the 15. Sort of a slide in. So let's try and do both groups of six. Hopefully that's making sense. Now the next chunk I work with, I'm going to do a group of six notes exactly the same three times. So I want to start off by playing 16, 15 on the first string, and jumping to 17 of the second. And then at the end of that, I'm going to play 15, 16, 19. So it's kind of a weird bluesy shape. That was 15, 16, 19. And as I said, we're going to do that six note pattern three times in a row. Okay, at the end of that group, I'm going to do another um, little chunk of these first three notes, which was 16, 15 on the first string and 17 of the second. And then to finish off that bar, I've got a quick pull off playing 15, 14, 12 on the first string, and then jumping to 15 of the second string. So, I go. so let's go from the three groups of six and then that little kooky ending. It's a bit of a strange shift, but it does help us out with the next shred. So let's go through the last chunk of the shred of this section, and then we'll put it together. So we've just done our little pull-off thing. Now what I want to do is I want to play 12, 14, 15, 14, 12. So there's five notes on the first string. And then jump to uh, 15 of the second string. So it'll go. Now the next time I go forwards and backwards, I'm going to descend a little further down the scale. So we're going to go. So let's see what I'm doing there. I'm going 12, 14, 15, 14, 12 on the first string again. And then I'm going to play 15, 14, 12 on the second string, and then end on 15 of the third. All right, let's go from that little legato now. Hopefully that's making sense. 
sense, and we're going to do a very similar idea from the second string to the third. I'm going to go 12, 14, 15, and then reverse it, and then jump to 15 of the third string, so there's six notes there. Okay, now the next time I do it, I'm going to go forwards and back and work my way even further down the scale. So we're going to go 12, 14, 15, 14, 12 on the second, and then 15, 14, 12 on the third, and then resolve that to 14 of the fourth string. So let's go from the little legato at the start of that, and then pick the rest. Let's take it from the start of the section from the 24. So remember we had the little groups of six and then work into this crazy shred beat in. Mm. One more time with some tabs. sort of a little um, chord bend idea. I'm playing 14 of the second and the third string with a slight bend and then I want to bring it back and then pull it off. So I'm doing as a chord and at the end of that I'm just going to play 14 to 12 as just a regular pull off on the third string. So we're bending it, chord pull off and then a single note pull off. At the end of that I'm going to play 14, 12 on the fourth string. It's just two big notes. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I go into this little bluesy lick. Let's take that a bit slower. I'm going to start with a bend on 14 of the third. And then I'm going to play uh, the second, the first, and then back to the second again. At the end of that, I'm going to do a bend on 15 of the second string. So, at the end of that, I'm going to play the first string on 12 and then pull off from 15 to 12. Hopefully that's making sense. So from the start of the section. Hopefully that's making sense. And I go. So I'm just working down. A bit of a Dave Mustaine shape really. It's just a pentatonic three notes per string. I'm playing 17, 15, 12 on the first string and the same on the second. And we're shredding all of it. So play all the notes. And then we want to finish that on 15 of the third for that gross flat five blues note. All right, so we've got. Hopefully that's all making sense. And we've got this cool little run at the end. It does use um, a very similar thing throughout each mini shred. So we'll go through it slowly. I want to play uh, 15 of the first string and pull off 14, 12. Then I play 15 of the second. And then I'm going to play uh, 12, 14 on the first string, sort of go. At the end of that, I want to do another pull off 15, 14, 12 on the first string. So we're going to start with that uh, pull off phrase and end on it. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I want to do the same thing, uh, but from 17, 15, 40. So we're going to start off with the pull off on the first string, and then I'm going to play 17 of the second string, then 14, 15 of the first and then end on the pull off. So back to back. Hopefully that's making sense. I want to do the same thing now from 19, 17, 15. We're going to start off with the pull off, play 19 of the second, then 15, 17 on the first, end on the pull off. All back to back. I'm going to do the same thing now from 20, 19, 17 on the first string. Let's slow that down. 20, 19, 17 as a pull off. 20 of the second, and then 17, 19 on the first is plucked notes. And then another pull off. And then I'm gonna do the same thing now. We're just working up the scale diatonically. 22, 20, 19 of the first string as a pull off. Then I play 22 of the second. Then I wanna pluck 19, 20 on the first. Sort of go. Hopefully that's making sense. Let's try, I think we've got five little shreds there. At the end of that, I want to go, so there's four notes I want to add. 22 of the second string, 
and then I'm going to play 19, 20, and then a bend on 22 of the first string. So we go. Let's try doing the whole section uh, from the start, and then we'll do it even slower with some tabs. And that was the epic shred fest that is the As I Am guitar solo by Dream Theater. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.